Naomi and today we are learning about the tongue. In the intro video on the big screen, we learned all about the cool function and anatomy of our tongue and how it is essential to the function of our everyday lives. But we also heard that the Bible has a lot to say about our tongues. Did you remember to bring your Bible? It's okay if you didn't. Just pause the video and go run and grab your Bible. Okay, so the first verse we are going to be looking at is in Proverbs. And Proverbs is in the Old Testament and it's about a third of the way through your Bible. But if you wanna know exactly where it is, your Bible is probably going to have an index. And this is going to show you exactly where your each chapter or each book in your Bible starts. So once you scroll down through the list, look for Proverbs and begin to search for it in your Bible. For me, it starts at 904, page 904. And then I'm going to go all the way in to chapter 18, verse 21 where it says that death and life are in the power of the tongue. That sounds kind of serious, doesn't it? And it's not that your tongue can actually cause somebody to die as though they were injured with an actual weapon, but it is true that you can do actual damage with the words that you say or the words that you don't say. You also have the power to do good things with your words. Your words can be something that makes someone feel less lonely. It can help them feel better about themselves or encourage them to try harder. A few chapters back in Proverbs 16, verse 24, let's get there together. I'll give you some time. Proverbs 16, verse 24, we will see that God says, Pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the bones. I don't know about you, but I know that I want sweet things like honey and not bitter things that don't feel very nice or taste very good. You see, the Bible is filled with all sorts of verses like this, talking about what we say, how we say it, and the effects it has on a situation. It's not hard to figure out why when we kind of all know that it's hard to tame our tongue or control how we speak to others. Have you ever really wanted something to go your way? Have you thought, if I just yell, others will have to do what I want? I know I have. I've thought that and guess what? It doesn't work. Instead of people wanting to do it our way, they end up just being more frustrated. And I learned that the Bible had already warned me about that. I just hadn't wanted to believe it. But it was true. Once again in Proverbs, God tells us that a gentle answer turns anger away, but a mean word stirs anger up. So here we are yelling at our mom because we really want one more show or 15 more minutes on our tablet. And instead of persuading her, she just gets more upset. When that kid at school who's a little different than us or maybe a lot different, tries to play with us but just ends up ruining everything and messing it up, it's tempting to yell, to call him a mean name, or to tell him to leave us alone. But that's not what God wants. He wants us to show that person his love by the way that we speak and the things that we say. You don't have to like them and you don't always have to include them, but you really shouldn't be mean and say mean things to them. We wanna be like that honeycomb, sweet and pleasant to give them life through our words. In the end, gaining control of what we say isn't just about other people, it's also good for us. Right here in Proverbs, once again, God's word tells us that a person who is kind benefits himself, but a cruel person 
hurts himself. It might be hard to see now, but trust me, as a person who has made enough mistakes with the words that they have said, it isn't worth it. Start now by trying to choose what you say carefully. Use kind words to stop anger. Choose to be sweet to someone even if you might not want to. Because in the end, everyone wins when we're kind. I know it's hard and it's a lot to take in, but I am confident that with God's help, we can all start choosing our words more carefully. Grown-ups who might be watching, I encourage you to try right along with us because even as adults, it can still be hard. Well, that's all for today, friends, but I can't wait to see you again soon. Hope you have a good week. Bye.